Welcome back to the No Niche Nerds. We have another episode for you. Guys, count them. We have 10, 10 games for the PS4 under $10. Stay tuned. Under $10. Can't beat that. All right, so our first in our 10 for 10 uh, for PS4, we have Batman Arkham Knight. Now, this is a great game. Open world Batman game. Uh, great combat, go around, you can do missions, uh, tear some people up. If you're a Batman fan, this is definitely one to pick up. Batman Arkham Knight uh, for the PS4. It's a 2015 action-adventure game that was developed by Rocksteady Studios and published by Warner Brothers. Uh, it's based on the DC comic superhero Batman, of course. Uh, it is the successor to the 2013 Batman Arkham Origins and the fourth main installment in the Batman Arkham series. All right, guys, the next game for me is a game called Bloodborne. Um, I've been told great things about this. I like the Dark Souls games a lot. I really like Elden Ring. So for me, I ordered this from overseas. This is a version it's a PAL version with all the DLC. So now I have all the DLC. Bloodborne is a 2015 action role-playing game developed by From Software and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation 4. This is an exclusive, guys. Bloodborne follows the player's character, a hunter, through the decrepit, gothic, Victorian-era-inspired city of Yarnum, whose inhabitants are all afflicted with a bloodborne disease. Attempting to find the source of the plague, the player's character unravels the city's mysteries while fighting beasts and cosmic beings. All right, next up we have Dark Souls 3. Uh, now this is a great game. We bought two editions. We have the complete edition with all the DLCs, and then we also have the day one edition for PS4. Now, Dark Souls 3, it's in the genre with Bloodborne, uh, just piggyback off of that and also Elden Ring, if you played Elden Ring. Great series, all these games together, they're definitely worth checking out. And part of the 10 for 10, I mean for $10, it's definitely worth picking up. Dark Souls 3 for PS4 is a 2016 action role-playing game. It's developed by From Software and published by Bandai Namco. Uh, it came out for the PS4, Xbox One, and Windows. Uh, it's an entry into the Dark Souls series, and it's played in a third-person perspective. Players have access to various weapons, armor, magic, and some con consumables that they can use to fight their enemies. Hey guys, this one here is a game that I played the demo for, and I knew that it was a day one buy for me. And that is Neo. Neo is amazing. It's it's like a Dark Souls game. You could say it's a Soulsborne, and it is really great you get um, three different stances tons of different weapons it's the gameplay on it is really replayable um, this one for me was really really good as good as Dark Souls if not better the graphics were definitely better than Dark Souls for me Neo is a action role-playing game that it was developed by Team Ninja the same makers of the Ninja Gaiden series it was first released worldwide for PlayStation 4 in February 2017 and was published by Sony Interactive Entertainment internationally and by Koei Tempo in Japan. An edition for both PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Windows containing all the games DLC was released on November 7, 2017 by Koei Tecmo. A remastered version was released for PlayStation 5 on February 5th of 2021. All right, guys, next in our 10 for 10 series for PS4, we have God of War. This game right here is great. Uh, it's a father and son duo as they go through and, and battle. It's a lot of Norse gods. Uh, the combat in this is wonderful. And also the graphics. I mean, great game. If you haven't picked it up, for sure, get it on your list. For sure. God of War for PS4. It's an action-adventure game developed by Santa Monica Studio. Uh, it was published by Sony Interactive. It was originally released in April 2018 for PS4 and with a later Windows release in January 2022. 
This game is the eighth installment of the God of War series and the eighth chronologically and the sequel to 2010's God of War 3. All right, guys, the next game that's $10 or less is a game that made me buy a PS4. Um, this game is incredible. The graphics are great. The gameplay is great. And if you've played the two games on PlayStation 3, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Infamous Second Son. This game is a game that makes you feel like a superhero. And the DLC First Light is just as good. It's got great graphics. It's beautiful. It makes your whole screen light up when you're running across the screen with the purple lightning and paint. So why do they call it Second Son? Where's the first son at? I don't know. I don't know why it's <laughs> called Second Son at all. Couldn't tell you. And uh, if I did, I wouldn't remember because I played this like five or six years ago. Oh, okay. Infamous Second Son is a 2014 action-adventure game developed by Sucker Punch Productions and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation 4. This one's the PlayStation 4 exclusive, guys. It is the third installment in the Infamous series. The game was released worldwide on March 21st, 2014. The player-controlled protagonist possesses superpower abilities that players use in combat and when traveling across the city. The story follows protagonist Delson Rowe fighting the Department of Unified Protection in a fictionalized Seattle. Over the course of the game, Delson acquires new powers and becomes either good or evil as the player chooses influence his morality. All right, next up in our series uh, for 10 under 10, we have Monster World Hunter. This is a great game. Um, you get to do drop-in co-op with friends. Uh, it's open world. You can go around, you're hunting these huge monsters. Uh, it's a tough game, uh, but great, great time. I enjoyed playing this when it came out. Monster Hunter Worlds, the action role-playing game is developed and published by Capcom. It is the fifth mainline installment in the Monster Hunter series. It was uh, released worldwide for PS4 and Xbox One in January of 2018. Uh, there was a follow-up uh, Windows version in August of 2018. Uh, in the game, the player takes the role of a hunter, tasked to hunt down and kill and trap monsters uh, that roam throughout the environmental spaces. If you're successful, the player is rewarded through loot consisting of parts from the monster and other elements that are used to craft weapons, armor, amongst other equipment. All right, guys, next PS4 game that I have for under $10 is Watch Dogs 2. Now, I have played the first Watch Dogs, and I thought it was a little underwhelming, but I hadn't played this one yet, and I'd heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm still excited to give it a chance. Um, I don't think that just because the first game was lackluster that the second game wouldn't be better. They obviously made improvements, so I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this one a shot. I'll be trying it out in the next couple months. Watch Dogs 2 is a 2016 action adventure game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. It is the sequel to 2014's Watch Dogs and the second installment in the Watch Dogs series. It was released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows in November of 2016 and Google Stadia in December of 2020. It is set within a fictionalized version of San Francisco Bay Area. The game is played from a third person perspective and its open world is navigated on foot or by vehicle. Players control Marcus Holloway, a hacker who works with the hacking group DeadSec to take down the city's advanced surveillance systems known as CTOS. All right, next up in our 10 for 10 for PS4, we have Uncharted 4. Now this game uh, to me is great. I love the Uncharted series, uh, the first three, even this one. When I got to this one, it was like playing an action movie. I mean, it was great. Like the cinematics, um, it's kind of like Tomb Raider. It is an adventure game. There are some puzzles to it, stuff like that. I'm not a huge puzzle person myself, but I made an exception for this series just because it's such great. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. It's a 2016 action adventure game. It was developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. It is the fourth main entry in the Uncharted series. It's set several years after the events of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. 
And the player does control Nathan Drake, a former treasure hunter coaxed out of retirement by his presumed dead brother Samuel, uh, with Nathan's longtime partner, Victor Sullivan. They search for clues for the location of Henry Avery's long lost treasure. Thief ends played is played from a third person perspective. All right, guys, my final ten under ten game is called Shadow of War. This game right here makes you feel like a badass. I remember cutting off the orcs' heads, cutting off their arms, um, all the combos. It's kind of like um, Arkham Knight or the the Batman series in combat. It's great. I really really enjoy this. I highly recommend it. For under $10, you can't beat this. Middle Earth Shadow of War is an action role-playing game developed by Monolith Productions and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. It is a sequel to 2014's Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, and it was released worldwide from Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on October 10th, 2017. It is also on the Steam platform. And that's it for our 10 under $10 for PS4. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you.